what's up guys and as i promised on my last video that i'll be making follow-up videos on all those ideas that i gave you last time and in this episode we'll be talking about videography how you can create a videograph business so as always i have my notes here with me so that i won't miss anything so from time to time you'll be seeing me looking down so i won't skip anything so in this video, we are going to cover all the startup costs that are involved in opening a business like this one, like videography. And we'll also give you the equipment that you need together with the prices. And we'll also teach you on how you can market and grow that business from scratch, from zero. And we'll also give you a slight idea on the average charges that you can charge your clients. Okay, so let me start by introducing you to the whole business idea. So videograph, this is where by you be taking videos, edit them and deliver to customers. So you can cover events like weddings. You can also do promotional videos for companies. There are a lot of companies out there that you can help in marketing using videos. So you go there to a company and then you do a, an advert, a video advert. And that company will pay you cash uh, for that service that you have provided them. And then you can also uh, do music videos. There are a lot of artists around you. I'm sure in your community, you know maybe one or two artists uh, and you can actually help that person in shooting their videos, editing, and uh, you get paid uh, for the work that you have done for them. And then you can also look for people like me. I'm a YouTuber, I'm a content creator. And there are some content creators out there that do not have all the gear. So you can help them create high quality videos and they will pay you for those services. So that's basically uh, what you'll be doing when you're doing videography. It's not only limited to what I've mentioned here. You can always find other avenues uh, and occasions where you can get hired and take videos. You edit them and you deliver and you get paid uh, for that. So now the question is, if I want to start this kind of business, what kind of equipment do I need? Okay. So... The equipment will depend on the capital uh, that you have. If you have a lot of money, you can obviously buy a lot of things, a lot of equipment, right? But I'm going to give you the average things, so the minimum that you, you require for you to look professional, for you to produce uh, professional uh, videos. So you will need two cameras, one main camera and another one for b -rolls. So usually the main camera will be the bigger camera, the one that will produce a higher quality, and then the one for B-roll can be a little bit lower. You, you, you'll be okay with that, okay? So on the budget now, the main camera can cost you around $2,000. And then the one for B-roll can cost you around um, $1,000. US, uh, US so what you can also do if you do not have enough money is you can go to your marketplace and look for uh, second-hand cameras. Usually there will be less costly compared to if you had to buy a new camera. And then um, uh, you can try cameras like the so Sony A7S Mark II. It's a 4K camera. It will give you very high quality and you can use that one as your main camera. And then you can also have a look at the Sony A600. That should cost around um, 1,200 if it's new. So if you get a second hand one, it will be slightly cheaper. And then you can also have a look at the Canon uh, EOS 250D, which costs about um, $1,600 US dollars if it's new. And if it's second hand, it will be slightly lower. So you can also, uh, you also have that option of um, looking for a good second hand. But when you're looking for a good second hand, make sure to get something that is still in good condition. So be careful when you're buying second hand cameras. All right, so it means now on our budget on cameras, we you should budget around uh, 3,000 for cameras. All right, and then you also need lights. You also need lights, and lights are very important when you're doing any kind of um, videography. So I will advise you to get the um, uh, Viewtrox 640 LED lights that cost around 500 uh, US dollars. There are some lights that are cheaper, uh, but they won't give you the quality that you get from those ones. I'll, I'll give you the list of all the of all this equipment that I'm mentioning now, I will list them in the description for you to go and check. And I'll also give you links, uh, Amazon links for you to, to go and purchase as well. So those are the lights that uh, I'll advise you to get if you have enough money. But you can always get the low cost ones. And as you start getting money, you can always get better lights. 
uh, for you to, to be able to uh, create better videos. Remember, for you to get more clients, you have to produce high quality videos. And that's the, that's the, the simplest way to market your business. And you also need a computer because you'll be doing all your editing on a computer. So that's another 500 uh, US dollars. And on top of that, you also need um, editing softwares. So I'll advise you to get a few more. I want to say a few more. It's good, especially for beginners. If you are beginning video editing, it's, it's easy for you to start with the Wondershare Filmora. They also have um, uh, good prices as well. You can start with the free one, and then once you're getting skill, your, your skills and once the money is getting in, you can go for the paid one. So that's another advantage of using Filmora. You can also try Adobe Premium. It's a good one as well. I, I'm, I'm using it right now. I'm using Adobe right now. But if I'm to compare uh, how hard it is to learn Adobe, and uh, how hard it is to learn Filmora. Filmora is way too easy. So if you're beginning, I'll advise you to use a few more, uh, a few more. And now if you add all the amounts that we mentioned on equipment, you see it's now around 4,000 US dollars, but you also need other accessories. So I'll advise you to add another thousand to make it 5,000. Okay, you need extra batteries, you need extra cables, uh, you need gimbals and um, uh, handles. There are a lot of other small accessories that you need when you're doing videography. So on your budget, add another $1,000 uh, to go to $5,000. So that's it on equipment. You don't really need to get uh, offices. You don't need offices unless you can afford to rent uh, an office. You can actually do this business from home. Just market your business. We'll talk about how to market later on in the video. So you just market your business. And once you get work, you just go and do work. If it's a wedding, you just go for, for, for that wedding. You do your thing and then you come and you edit the videos at home. So now let's talk about the average charges. So this one depends with your location. There are some locations where you have a higher, fee, a higher fees and there are some locations where it's a little bit lower. So I'm just going to give you averages. All right, so for a wedding, a wedding, you would charge something like $500 plus or minus, obviously, depending with the number of hours. Promotional videos as well, they range, they range. I uh, usually start from $200 going upwards. It, it depends with the kind of uh, video that you'll be shooting for that company. It, it, it all depends, but usually it's from $200 going upwards and uh, for music videos as well it depends with the number of locations what the what the artist want what the director wants and all those different things but usually it's plus or minus uh, $500 it can go up to $5,000 so it all depends so now you have a slight idea on the cost of the equipment that you might need and also the charges that you can charge your clients let's talk about how you can market and grow your company so when you're starting, you can start by doing free work. It, it always work. So what you do is you get maybe some t-shirts where you, you print your, your logo, you print what you do and you offer um, your services to, to maybe churches. You go and uh, shoot videos uh, during a church service or if it's a wedding, you, you say, even if there is another person that is doing uh, media, you can just say, okay, can I come and do on the site uh, practicing? You'll be practicing. And as you're practicing, you'll be wearing your uniform, you'll be wearing t-shirts with your contacts so that people can also contact you. It's a very effective way of marketing yourself, especially when you're a new beam in an industry. And then it will also help you in building your portfolio and references. And once you've done maybe uh, uh, three or five free jobs, you'll be able to give reference to people to say, okay, I have done work for this person, I've done work for this person, uh, so that uh, your, your client, your paying client now, we have someone to call to say, have you ever done anything with these guys? And um, they'll be able to, to testify on your behalf that you know what you're doing. So that's one way of marketing, by doing free work. And while you're doing that free work, away your regalia, get t-shirts. It's, it's very easy for you to just go to a shop and print t-shirts. You print your logo, your company name, your contacts, the list of all the things that you do on your t-shirt. And as you'll be doing your free work, you'll be advertising your work. And another way of marketing is word of mouth. You have friends, you have relatives, you have people around you. Talk to them, tell them what you do. Uh, don't get tired of telling people about your business. The more people you tell about your business, the more you're likely to get clients. So that's another way of marketing your business 
word of mouth and then you can also use flyers you go and print maybe 100 flyers and then just give people go to a busy place and start distributing a flyers go to a mall go to a train station and give people give out flyers to people that will be passing by you never know you can get clients uh, that way you can also create a website whereby you put all the information about your company and nowadays we have a lot of uh, websites that can help you create a website without any coding experience totally for free uh, sites like wix uh, that can allow you to do all that uh, for free so you go and try that create a website if you have money you can pay someone uh, someone who knows what they're doing to create a website for you and you'll be able to market your business using that website and social media as well that's one of the most powerful tools nowadays it's free to advertise on social media create a page for your business uh, tell people about your business share in your local groups for you to get clients it's a very effective way as well to market on social media there are a lot of platforms facebook instagram and all those different social media platforms where people spend their time on market your business you definitely get clients on social media and just to wrap up this let's talk about why you should do a videography what are the advantages of doing videography okay so the biggest advantage that you have on videography is it can be done part-time you can go to work and then once you're done with work you can come and do videography you only need to do when you get a contract so that's a very big advantage that you can do other things as well while you're doing those business maybe when you start getting more clients you can choose to only focus on videography okay and the other thing is that you don't need to pay any extra rental for a commercial office for for you don't need an office unless maybe you have enough money to to invest on an office but you don't really need an office you can do this uh, from your your home and it's very scalable once you start getting clients you see it will be easy for you to add more cameras and once you add cameras now you'll be able to get more personnel and you end up covering maybe multiple events at the same time so it's also a good thing so this is it guys this is all the info that you need for you to open a videograph business so if you have any question on this business just write in the comment section and we will definitely come back and answer your question and uh, we'll be making more videos on business ideas if you have any business idea that you are thinking of doing and you want us to research to do research for you just write that idea in the comment section and we'll do the research for you and we'll make a video on that um, uh, business idea and we will take you so that you'll be able to see and it will be easy for you to go and invest in that business idea because we'll have done all the research for you and for more information you can also follow me on facebook the page name is john chuanza and on instagram as well it's at john chuanza and don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you have liked this video and if this was your first time coming to this channel go down there and click on subscribe and also hit that bell so that you get a notification the moment we upload a new video bye for now and see you on our next video have a nice day